I love visiting my white friends because they always got new pets. <laughs> they always got new pets they think are normal. Because, like, we all read fairy tales and stuff. We were little, we all watched the Jungle Book. I don't know what was happening. I lived, I was raised by black people, so I have no idea what was happening in white households. But I feel like there were extra chapters in those books because. <laughs> Because white people really out here thinking every animal is their friend. Like, that's... <laughs> dude, white communion with nature is, like, almost upsetting. It's like... And I went over to my buddy's house, and something hit me in my face, like, real hard. And I thought it was a garbage bag, right? And I was like, it's not even air conditioner here for a garbage bag to be floating around. So I was like... And it, it was loud, too. Like, it hit me, like... And then I turned around, I was like, what was that? He's like... Oh, I forgot to tell you, I got a bat. <laughs> you got a what? He's like, no, I got a bat. I'm like, where, what, what? <laughs> what the fuck, you live in a studio, you have a bat? Where, like, where does it even sleep? And he's like, Josh, it sleeps in the closet. He answered me like I was being unreasonable. <laughs> he's like, Josh, it sleeps in the closet. <laughs> that was insane. It really is. I got another buddy. He got his dog. This is the oldest dog I've ever seen in my life. This dog, 22. <laughs> it's, so, it's so old. You know how when dogs get old enough, their bark change? This dog bark like, bark. <laughs> it's half scream, half bark. Bark. <laughs> the dog is so old, it got human problems. <laughs> So he take the dog to the bed and be like, oh yeah, his psoriasis acted up. <laughs> God damn. Where the fuck does that happen? <laughs> and then the vet, like, yeah, he, he's got a little bit of dementia. I'm like, dementia? <laughs> this dog gonna be meowing in three days. <laughs> That's crazy as hell. <laughs> that dog went, bark, bark, meow. <laughs> And it's crazy, too, because he got, okay, because his back legs, he didn't even have an accident. His back legs just dubbed me a legs. Like, he's just, his back legs are like, bro, we 22. Like, we are 6,000 in dog years. It's done. And so then they got him the wheelchair for dogs. You know what I mean? You know, the wheelchair. But then the, <laughs> but then, you know, he don't really know how to use it, so he adjusts it. But now he can finally, like, really run again because it's wheel powered now. And so, so now he be running, but then can't fully control where he going. So then he'll be turning, and it, the shit look like Tokyo Drift. It's the dopest, <laughs> it's the dopest shit I've ever seen, because the dog will get excited and start running, and you're like, no, 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 no. It's just crazy, because like, when you, uh, like, okay. This is where you won't like me anymore. Uh, <laughs> at least with dogs, there's like a, that could be your best friend, but you can, you can see, oh, okay, they don't have a quality of life that is not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, <laughs> take them to the vet and you know, put them down and everything. And nobody wants to do that. It's a horrible thing. Like I've had to do it for a pup before. And it was, it's very sad, but it is like, I think it should go the other way. <laughs> Cause you know, every man in here got a boy where you like, he don't have no quality of life. <laughs> Steve life in shambles, all right? <laughs> Sheila left him, she not coming back. She happier now that she don't have him. So I, I think I gotta put my boy down. <laughs> <laughs> you take Steve to Disneyland and he just having a great day. You like, all right. <laughs> 